what's up everybody welcome to another tutorial and today we're talking about send effects all right so what is a send effect a send effect is an effect that's actually in the mixing console as opposed to directly to your instrument so let's take a listen I loaded up two loops that come with reason I don't know in the sound bank it's a guitar loop and a drum loop so let's just take a listen to what we got All right, pretty basic, but pretty cool for our stock sounds. And this isn't really so much about the uh, the loop as it is as what we can do to it. So let's take a look. If we go up here, we're in our mixer. Channel one um, is our guitar. Channel two is our drum loop. So we're in channel our first channel our guitar we're gonna head up here and we're gonna hit play okay now here you can see if I go to the right I have something that says plate room echo and delay these are the four effects that I have okay plate is a reverb room is a reverb echo is a stereo echo and delay is a delay so let's listen to how they work. If you listen, while the loop is playing, if I hit one, the effect will be activated. If I turn it to the if I, if I turn it to the right, the effect becomes more pronounced. Alright, so that's how you use them. Fairly basic. Well, these are the four that come loaded on Reason when you start. So how can you create your own send effect? Well, that's really easy. Let's go ahead and hit F6. And go all the way to the top. Click Master Section. Control click or right click. Creative Effects, Studio Effects, whatever you want. They're Creative Effects. Um, Let's make a alligator filter gate. Now, we're going to flip it around and see how it's wired. Tab. It's from 5, FX send, 5th, left, and right, down to our input, main out, up again to FX return, five left and right okay so we'll go back to our mixer let's take a listen now completely different. Now let's go back to a rack. We can build more complicated send effects. If we hit tab, we have an audio output here. We can connect a echo, for example, to our filtered gate. And we'll run our filter into the echo and our echo out to the 5 slot and now let's listen cool alright so we can do a lot of cool things 
Um, again, the easiest way is just to click your master selection, right click and just create it and have it automated itself. And once you do that, we'll go back to the mixer and you can find all your effects in FX return running down one two three four five you click the corresponding number to run it through and you can move these green knobs to let the level through um, here you have a level button that's just going to affect the sound of the infect or the effect and the pan you can pan the effect from left to right here these little lights let you know that sound is passing through it so if we hit play We can see all five are lighting up because they're receiving sound, but now watch what happens when I turn the first three effects off. Only four and five are receiving any input. Alright, cool. I hope that this helps you. I hope you enjoyed it. I encourage you to use it, and there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. You can split your audio to make a dry signal and a wet signal, parallel processing, which is really easy in Reason 7. So play with it and let me know. As always, I want to get some feedback. Let me know how it goes and hopefully this has helped you. All right. If this has helped you, help me. Give it a thumbs up.